with E-40. E-40, when you came to Baton Rouge and then you had to pick up that long stick, niggas was finna rush E-40 them off the stage because a nigga tried to stop me from performing, man. Hold on, Yeah. Wait. This is the first time telling me this. E-40. Break, break that down. Bro, they had a club called the Cajun Hall. Not yeah. the Cajun Dome. The Cajun Hall. It was where the mall at. Where Bon Marche Mall at. Mm -hmm. So... It was the the promoters, one of the promoters was Brian Key, which was connected to the game room. I'm Brian Key, main man, he trying to make advance with me. So now he got me opening up for everybody that's coming to the city. Yeah. So he like, okay, I got you on one with E40. I'm like, that was up, that was up. You know, like he trying to help me. I appreciate this. Shout out to BK, Brian Key. So it get time for me to perform, you know. So I guess, you know, sometime the show be late or whatever. I don't know. But I go up there to perform to do my thing. And the nigga like, nah, bro, it's E-40 finna go. Mm -hmm. You know, it's E-40. And so nigga like, damn, E-40 finna go. So people like see this, you know, because I'm the... This is back at the G. I'm the nigga. You feel me? Like, I'm the, from the game room. I had the game room on lock. This the game room crowd. Yeah. So they they like, this what we come for. We saw the flyer. We, we you know, we got the news that Big Head, this what we want to see him bubble. It's his turn. Mm -hmm. So eventually, like, they was trying to be greedy. So, you know, I'll get on out the way. So here come 40 now. Oh, hell no, they bombed the stage. Oh, that big kid got to perform. You know, I had a couple niggas, rest in peace, Lil Main, rest in peace, Tyree. You know, a couple niggas that was so, you know, they, man, fuck, so the whole stage got bombed. Mm -hmm. So now, 40, he trying to protect the clique. Because the clique ain't doing shit, but, you know, they lost. Because he 40 might have been the one getting the purse. They probably was, you know, you know how that shit went. So they like, we ain't come in for this. So he thought they got a stick about 20 feet stick. It must have been part of the stage or something. He know. Shout out to E40. Picked up that big long ass, stupid ass stick. So what I did was I got in front of four old them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at this point, I'm probably 16. I got in front of four old them. Man, y'all tripping. Chill out, bro. Let them make it. You feel me? Yeah. And that was another time where nigga like, bro, I appreciate that. You know, man, I got you. Thinking, you know, I guess they was thinking I wasn't going to ever say nothing. Yeah. But I mean, like, that shit crazy, bro. Like, when you've been a dead for, like that for months and they acknowledged you, just, just, just like Ross. I'm not going to say I did nothing for Ross or nothing, but... Uh, he acknowledged me. He said what he said. He said, I see you. He said, you know, like, I know your time coming is up. You know, mm -hmm. like, you know, some 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 things like, you know, if it don't work out with me, you know. So one of I got a few people to, you know, network with him. Shout out to Boss Action, you know, like like he was going to actually you know, look out, you know, or try to make something happen. So I reached out a few times and then he just, nothing, nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing. Forgot. So that's you know, what. You got so much stuff going on. And yeah. All that. And you know, I don't really hold nothing against him because at the end of the day, if it's about rap, just keep it about rap. You know, it's like sometimes people feel it's get hurt, but it's just rap. Yeah. You know, like sticks and stones break your bone, but words shouldn't hurt you. Your nigga mama taught him that. Mm-hmm.